So we've arrived here to Knuff in Germany after a fairly challenging trip from the UK. And you had a good sleep on the plane as well, didn't you, Chris? Um, Merchin, thank you for the invitation. Just to whet the appetite of our viewers, uh, lots of videos to come over the coming days uh, on machines that you supply here. But tell us a little bit about the company, 95 years of experience. Yes, we are celebrating our 100th anniversary soon. Um, that's the fourth generation of Knut family running the business. And, uh, well, we are very experienced in providing machines to our customers around the world. And I like the statement here, Knuff 4.0, that ties in quite nicely to Industry 4, fourth generation and Industry exactly. 4. Okay, let's have a quick look at some of the machines that you're going to supply. We can do this quickly, go around the whole showroom. Firstly, um, I'm liking this machine. Uh, you don't see many very compact kind of like bridge mills like this, do you? Quite tidy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can see the dimension uh, of the uh, you know, working space and uh, basically this is the machine which can be mm, used in, in, in production of the big work pieces. Yeah, plenty of rigidity I imagine as well with the way it's constructed. Um, then uh, in complete contrast to that really, we go on to the turn inside. We're looking here at mill drill machines. Um, there's, there's no kind of branding on here. Just tell us a little bit about the, uh, the name of these machines. Oh, well, Stahlwerk is our do dollar brand and um, we are focusing on high-end production machinery, uh, able to work three shifts uh, without stop uh, to customers who are a little bit more demanding in terms of uh, the application. Okay, now that's, that's one and, and seated quite neatly next to there is the Orion 6TL. I'm assuming that this is uh, just a turning machine as opposed to the other one we just looked at, which was mill drill, is that right? Exactly, exactly. That is a small footprint, very compact and simple. Uh, um, turning machine but with very uh, rigid construction. Okay, now let's look at this VMC. That's a pretty big one as well. Again, same model, um, but how do you pronounce this one, Merchant? That's Lupus 650. Okay, so this, the, the size of this machine? Uh, approximately 1.3 meter. Okay, so, so a big VMC. And we're going to see some smaller VMCs uh, shortly as well in the range. Uh, we move on to slightly bigger turning centers. Again, this is the 245, the LMB. I'm, I'm assuming that means long bed mill drill. Exactly, you're right. Uh, this is the machine equipped with a BMT turret, with uh, driven tools. Uh, that's very universal a machine for different kinds of application. Okay, another turning center here to the right. And then this machine here that is, has actually been in action today. This is one of your flagship models, isn't it? This 180 MR. Oh yes, exactly. This is a uh, very compact lathe, uh, but also very rigid and uh, we are very successful with, with this ones uh, around the world. Okay, I like this too. Often we're looking at full spec CNC's, performance machines, uh, totally different, different end this, tool room. Uh, where, where do you score with these Knuff machines? Well, these are aimed to reach the customers who have uh, um, maintenance departments and uh, workshops uh, and they need a little bit higher um, quality uh, from conventional lathe. This is actually our own uh, design servo conventional uh, lathe uh, based on the uh, mineral casting. Okay, well, I'm going to find out a lot more about these machines and the other ones we've looked at over the coming day or so, so we're not going to go into masses of detail. What is interesting here on these models, a uh, slightly different concept of machine as well. This is almost, well this has a platen on it, it's a fixed head machine with a platen. Exactly, this is the machine for the customers who have uh, very uh, particular production, very particular design of the work pieces and uh, uh, they would like to have a, a good pricing uh, product uh, with a compact uh, design. It's almost complete contrast to the manual machine, isn't it? That's where production comes into its own. Now these are going to be popular, these are, this is what um, DTS are obviously going to be supplying into the UK market. These are the range of Vector VMCs, what can you tell me about these? Because we have the 1000M, we have the 850M and then at the end we have the 650. Can you go into a little bit of detail about this model? Yes, of course. Uh, this machine is one of the most successful machines in 2017 and 2018. Uh, basically this is vertical machining center uh, but provided with very extended standard equipment. So you have uh, vertical machining center uh, with x-axis travel starting from 650 millimeters up to one meter uh, with the CTS 30 bar in standard uh, cheap uh, bed flush uh, flushing system uh, Siemens controller I, I noticed the Siemens on a lot of your machines is that just because of the German market here Merchin because I mean in the UK you know Fanuc is a very popular control as well do you offer that 
Yes, of course. We have uh, Fanuc and Siemens in the offer. Very well finished machines as well, aren't they? Yes, that's true. Um, we actually wanted to focus on the very, uh, not only you know, technological design of the machine, but also the, how they look like. Okay, then behind us here, um, I think we saw this machine at AMB, did we? Was this the same one? Gantry loading at Turning Centre? Exactly, that was the one. Okay, what's the, the idea here? I mean, it sounds straightforward, but really we're looking at more production orientated uh, for your customers that are after more, more production. Yeah, exactly. This is a solution for uh, the production uh, based on the gantry type loader. So uh, without the necessity of having a person next to the machine, you can actually uh, provide the you know, production to... to, to um, it's very interesting to see the, the diverse range of machines that you supply. Often manufacturers kind of pigeonhole themselves into certain areas, but you, you certainly aren't guilty of that, are you? Um, tell us about this machine. Then we've got a long bed version here. This is a, uh, a heavy-duty turning center too. Yeah, that would be one of the heavy-duty uh, machines from Stahlwerk series. Uh, this is a uh, very long bed, uh, driven tools. Uh, is it as big machine. as you go? Uh, no, we can go bigger. <laughs> Good, yeah. Okay, and smaller as well, as we have seen. And that machine has actually got a steady on it, as you'll probably pick up there on the camera. Now, how about this? This is certainly one of uh, the highlights that we're going to be looking at over the next day or so. The Pixel PC20i, a vertical lathe with a hanging spindle. Uh, what's the advantage to that? Well, definitely um, you have a machine which also includes the automation system. So you have not only possibility of pro production of the workpiece, but also taking care of it after it's going to be finished. And the benefit of that hanging spindle as well, one of the things I think is obviously the swarf fall away. You, you, you're not going to get any uh, trappage of swarf, are you? Exactly. That was one of the reasons we designed this this way, because, uh, well, that's a very popular machine in automotive business. And does this come as one whole unit? Is it one whole machine? Exactly. You, you know, you, you can't just or well, you could buy the VTL, but you'd, you'd look to integrate it with this as well. Exactly, and this is uh, all in standard. And is there, a, when we look at, can you, can you have varying workpiece weights on it, or are you restricted to a certain six kilos or eight kilos? That would be approximately six, eight kilos. Okay. Uh, bridge mill machine, um, EDM. Wow, so it's not just milling and turning. Is this, a, is this popular here from Knuff as well? Yeah, it is. Uh, EDM uh, machines uh, we are selling, uh, I think, for more than 10 years, and we are quite successful with that, as with any other products uh, from uh, metalworking equipment. Do you have experts in all these fields? Because one thing is obviously selling a machine uh, around the world, but you, you need to be able to offer them the, the technical expertise as well. Have you got experts in each field? Exactly. Uh, here in Germany, but also in our uh, foreign branches, we have people who are uh, responsible for application engineering, uh, for technical, technological process, uh, for service and uh, uh, advisory for customers. And one of the things you mentioned to me earlier as well is the fact that you bring machines here. You, this is a big distrib distribution hub really here in Germany, um, but it's about what you add to them the accessories. Uh, here we look at cylindrical grinders as well. These, these are obviously in the portfolio too. Exactly. These are made in our own factory uh, and they are based uh, also uh, design on uh, mineral casting. Okay. What I don't want to forget as well is what is we look at these uh, CNC lathes here. This is interesting to me as well, quite compact CNC lathe here. This is the uh, the 420, but this has a turret on it. Is this, is this a standard for you? Uh, that's standard, also available with a tool post. Also available with a tool post. Can you can you add you know add the axis to it? Have mill drill. Uh, in this case, uh, not. But we have other machines who can do that. Can do that. So it is it is it is available in the portfolio. Uh, moving down here, then into the slightly bigger turning again. Now we're back onto the slant bed version. This is the 400B960. Wow, the, the, the range is it's so extensive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How it many is. products in total, roughly? Would you, would you know exactly, or give us a, a, an indication? Well, we are selling approximately more than 1,000 machines per year. Uh, so I would say that it's quite a lot. Because this brochure is pretty thick. In fact, it's weighing quite heavy on my uh, left arm. We can almost conclude uh, this tour now with the X mills, because these are another vertical machining center that you're offering. In fact, we'll stop down here at this one. This is the X mill 640. A small, compact machining centre, big market for these in the UK. I'm sure DTS will have a lot of success. Um, popular here in Germany too? Extremely. Um, this family of mineral casting machines is very popular. We are one of few companies actually who are uh, specialised in this kind of design. 
uh, what, I, what I do note from a lot of the machines I've seen around here, the verticals, is the, the tool changes you have on these. They're uh, quite, quite uh, they 30 tools, sort of, you, you know. You, 24, 30 uh, double arm tool changers. Well, it's been a fantastic tour around here. We are now going to conclude this. With, and we, in fact, we can't conclude it without talking about the five axis behind here. That is an offering as well. It's one thing we haven't seen, but the five axis is here too. So, uh, you know, this is a big range, isn't it? Yes, uh, well, that's the goal, to be able to provide customer with different kind of products in one portfolio. And where is your biggest market? Germany. It is Germany, is yes. it? But you do supply around the world. Looking at the brochure here, you've got seven or eight actual subsidiaries around subsidiaries, the globe. Yes, our own branches, Knut companies, and then we are cooperating with uh, resellers around the world. And the automation that you talked to me about earlier as well, one of the big things you do here that we'll see over the coming days is the fact that you integrate automation, gantries, all the accessories, you make sure the machines are ready for the European market. Uh, that's, a, that's a big advantage, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, the, all automation is... Uh, being done here in Germany in case if customer needs it we are able to offer uh, up more than 60 70 options to each Stahlwerk machine for instance so that's quite extensive. And a lot of these machines here are available from stock okay. so uh, do contact the guys here or if you're in the UK obviously it's DTS UK but over the coming days there's going to be lots of videos on these uh, on these machines we're going to pick out some of the features and the highlights thank you very much Merchant for the talk. Thank you.